Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is a morning market prep video for August 20th, 2021. Well, my goodness, yesterday was one of those interesting days where we had lots of whipsaws to deal with in the intraday price action and just left a little bit of uncertainty um, on the day. And now this morning we see a little bit of bearish pressure again. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in, buckle up. Let's get ready for the Friday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and happy Friday. My goodness, we're going to need it after this week of price action. Um, obviously, the bears have been emboldened and the bulls are gonna have some work cut out for them, it looks like, this morning. So let's take a look at what we've got going here in the charts. First off, if you look at this on the surface, um, holding this price support down in here, you can see as I draw a line across here, holding this price support in here, you think, okay, um, you know, pretty smooth sailing, the reef, relief rally is underway. But then you take a moment and you go into an intraday chart and you check a, uh, take a look at just how um, unbelievably volatile yesterday's move was in the market. And you think, hmm, um, maybe not so smooth. Now this morning we have some issues here. Last night, um, China passed some regulations um, as they continue their tech scrutiny over there. Um, that created some pretty heavy selling in Hong Kong. Hong Kong has dipped into bearish territory and um, there was some pretty heavy selling in um, the Nikkei as well yesterday. So kind of a rough day over there um, in China to close out the week. And we're seeing red across the board in the European markets. That has the Dow potentially reversing back down. Now there are some hopeful signs out there as well. We'll take a look at those in a second. But um, breaking this support and is, is not a good thing for the market. If we were to drift down below through here, and you can see this morning in the pre-market, we're struggling to hold at yesterday as low. Um, please keep in mind, if we can't find the, in, um, the inspiration to defend this area, if we were to dip down in here, some serious technical damage starts to be created in this market. So watch that pretty closely. This is a bit of a problem here if we continue to sink. Let's take a look at our SPY. Now our SPY, much the same. We've got a little bit of pressure here, but you can see it's not quite as severe this morning. Um, SPY trying to hold in there, and that is largely due to big tech. Big tech did the majority of the lifting, but I gotta show you there's some internals in here that just are really a bit of a concern overall in the market. So what we have going on here is we did break this price support in the chart. And so far we've held on to this price support in this chart. Now, if the Dow were to slip below yesterday's low, you could easily see that begin to drag or be kind of a heavy weight on uh, the SPY as well, and that possibility that this shifts below. Now, if that doesn't occur, if we can hold this level in here, let's watch this up here and realize that we have price resistance in here, and that possibility that we could just kind of range around in here for several days um, in that, that area. There seems to be a big um, increase in confidence on those bears. They are a quite a bit more feisty and it seems there like there is a little bit less willingness from the buy the dip buyers to rush in and thinking about the weekend ahead that even adds some additional challenge um, in the day so watch that carefully um, again we don't want to see um, if you want this market to remain bullish then you don't want to see this fall below 
that low of yesterday because that could really create some serious technical damage in these charts. Let's take a look at our QQQ. Now QQQ had the best day yesterday of the indexes with some big surges back up in some of the tech sector stocks. However, we want to notice that we didn't really solve anything. We didn't really break above price resistance in the chart. We gave a good shot at it. We pushed up there, but didn't quite get her done. And now with a little pressure this morning, um, adding just that additional question here in the market. So what we need to do is we need to break through this little downtrend that we're seeing here in this chart and get back above that support level and hold then things start to improve and could look a lot better. But keep in mind, once again, it's going to be really important for those bulls to defend this level. If they were to slip uh, below that level, um, some serious damage could come into play. But right now, Q's being the strongest of the indexes, there's no indication that that's going to occur. But we want to watch this resistance level carefully for that place we could get that rejection and then let's take a look at iwm by golly that iwm um, just struggled yesterday we tried to rally tried and tried and tried notice that we um, ended up below our 200 day moving average now there is a place in this chart that is really really important notice this big support area here in this chart now we're pushing down toward that. Notice that this morning we um, may even set a new low this morning here in IWM. If this area does not hold, if we drop below there, that would be some serious damage in this chart. We already have IWM as the weakest of the indexes and we already have that serious damage here where we've got that 50 turning lower um, price is showing lots of bearishness here so watch that closely breaking this support could be a uh, well could really bring in some selling um, and notice that this is a pretty big hole to the next level of price support in here so watch that carefully let's take a look at our VIX now our VIX um, raises some concerns in that um, we ended up closing the day above a 20 handle and then with the bullet bearish pressure that we're seeing this morning in the futures um, provides us just a little bit of concern notice yesterday we pressed up here and we tested we tested this downtrend pretty hard pushed through and pulled back by the end of the day but with the bearish pressure on this morning, we could easily see that push back above that downtrend, that fear starting to come up into the market. The higher we go on this spike, the more worry and concern that I would have that if we pull back, we're going to hold a higher level of support. So we're starting to show some damage here and we're starting to show that fear um, kicking up in here. Anyone that trades options, you know that your option prices have gone up quite a bit here recently because of the implied volatility, adding some more challenge to a lot of those newer traders that came in to the market here in this bull run um, looking for, you know, riches, um, thinking um, that the market was never going to fall again. Well, the, they may have a little bit of question in their mind and, and, and I think there was some damage created in an awful lot of those smaller accounts on uh, Monday where we gapped down, reversed all the way back up. We saw tremendous buying uh, toward the end of the day and now those folks have been damaged pretty heavily, those that chased into that. So little bit of challenge here and with that VIX showing that volatility pretty high, we can expect price action to remain quite high here uh, today. Let's take a look at um, T2122. Now I mentioned yesterday and honestly I'm a little bit surprised. I expected yesterday we would see a lot better result in our T2122. We've been in this oversold condition and what we've seen lately is we push down here in that short-term oversold condition and we just rip to the upside just tear it up to the upside well that didn't happen yesterday um, 
we we did bounce in the markets, but notice our T2122 barely moved. And what that means is there are still more stocks moving sideways to down than those that bounced back up. So we have some problems here and that could add to some pressure here this morning with the futures showing bearishness here this morning. We could certainly see that possibility of more breakdown here uh, because we didn't get nearly the response that you would expect yesterday that we see in those white candles on those index charts. It just didn't show up um, in the majority of stocks. So kind of an interesting situation. Keep a close eye on that. Now, once again, I'm going to say that even though we're pushing down, I'm going to kind of favor the upside potential bounce. And the reason is, is because this short term indicator is usually pretty darn accurate. And um, it says that once we reach that oversold condition, we have that opportunity to bounce. Now we have seen times in the past. Okay. Just like uh, on the upside, we've seen times in the past where we've just kind of been pounded down on that downside move we continue to stay down in here for a while so that is certainly possible that we just kind of pound on this um, heading into the weekend but watch that carefully there may be that keep your fingers crossed that slight opportunity for a little bit of a relief bounce let's take a look at our uh, t21 01. This is also a bit of a concern here, guys, and that is the fact we've been struggling with market breadth. And seeing this market breadth rallying as we continue um, that sell off overall in the market, pretty rough. And, and I say continue that sell off overall in the market because I'll show you here in just a second. We didn't improve on a lot of the internals like the VIX and. Um, um, the majority of our of our market is below its 200 day moving average. And so let's take a look at that. We, we're expanding our breadth here on this sell wave. And if we look, look at T2107, which is the number of stocks that are percentage of stocks that are below their 200 day moving average, Look at this yesterday. As we were rallying, we see those white candles. Internally, there's some problems here because we had more stocks continuing to drop below their 200-day moving average. As a matter of fact, the, the majority of, of um, the S&P 500, uh, more than 50% of the S&P 500 it has fallen below its 200 day moving average. So we have this really odd situation where we have a very clear distinction between the haves and the have nots in the market. Now that can be okay as long as those haves um, have enough energy to start lifting the stocks off of the bottom. However, if there is the energy here from the have nots to continue to push down. You could see that weight start to drag some of those stocks down that have been holding things up. So internally, there's a little concern here and um, heading into the weekend just adds that little bit of uncertainty going into the weekend as we saw you know, selling in, in Asia and European markets um, heading lower this morning as well. So keep an eye on that. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. And I got to tell you, there's just not much for inspiration here today. Um, you can see we've got um, a Fed speaker and we've got um, Baker Hughes rig, rig count um, out there. And that's it for the data today on the economic calendar. And on the earnings calendar, we only have three notable, there's only seven verified reports today. Um, um, the majority of, of those are very small cap reports. And um, we have reports from BKE. We'll want to keep an eye on that. BKE is a notable report today. You can see gapping higher, the buckle um, moving up here this morning. So that's bullish for the market. We have um, John Deere reporting today, and it looks like they're responding higher this morning. That'll be a good sign or a good help for the Dow, hopefully today, to kind of move things um, up. 
And last but not least, we have another retailer, Foot Locker, and that is also moving up, trying to challenge or break its downtrend here on that earnings report. So we have these challenges out there. We have got a little bit of bullishness and some earnings reports, but will that be enough to overcome what we see in selling in uh, in um, Asian markets and European markets this morning. I don't know. So watch those closely. Not a lot of data to go on today. Now, it is also possible that we could see, after a little bit of morning volatility, we could see the market just kind of die on the vine. And what I mean by that is volume just dry up and everybody just throw up their hands and call it a week and the market just kind of stalls um, along this area. So we can't rule that out, but I would expect volatility to remain pretty high. And my biggest concern here of the day would be if the Dow breaks this support and really starts pushing lower, it could be a heavy draw to pull those other indexes lower. So watch that closely. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today. But please keep in mind that with the condition of the market, um, you've got to be really, really careful. These are not recommendations to buy or sell any securities, okay? But before we do that, if you guys could do me a quick favor. If this is the first time that you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and that bell icon when it pops up so it'll be notified every time um, I post one of these videos. And hopefully you find these videos to be useful. And if you do, if you could please click that thumbs up button and leave a brief comment helps us continue to grow the channel reach out for more folks um, that may enjoy this kind of content without all the hype and the drama and the prediction that you see in other places um, in social media really taking a look at the technicals and trying to decide how we might want to approach the market for the day so let's um, take a look at some of these stocks and once again I, I just want to repeat these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security you have to do your own due diligence and make sure that um, these um, charts that I show you fit your risk tolerance and you understand the risks. Never ever blindly follow someone else's trade ideas. Let's take a look here. Um, we had some pretty good moves yesterday in some tech. Take a look at NVIDIA. NVIDIA had an earnings report that initially disappointed, but we, we shot up a little bit here yesterday and ended up with this kind of long-legged doji um, candle in the chart. Let's keep an eye on this. We've got this little downtrend here, and notice we're trying to follow through this morning with a little bit of tech jump here in that. So we've got a bit of an uptrend. We've got this little downtrend wedging this uh, pattern in here. Um, NVIDIA might be one I'd keep an eye on. If it can hold up in here, we might have that upside opportunity um, uh, to resolve in here. So watch that closely. Another one you might want to keep an eye on is Cisco. Now, there's no way I'd want to chase this candle yesterday. Cisco also initially had some disappointment after their earnings report, but boy, it really, they just soared in yesterday, just surged in. Now, I wouldn't want to chase that. I think that this probably needs a little rest or consolidation. So if this can rest up here, consolidate up here, I definitely want to put this on my list and watch for that next opportunity here in that chart. Looking pretty good overall. This trend is beautiful. I'd keep a close eye on that. Um, like the way that's coming around. You might want to keep an eye on um, stocks like Procter & Gamble. P&G holding up really, really well. Notice we're up here testing some resistance highs in that chart. But Procter & Gamble being a consumer defensive stock, it's one of those places that people go when they're looking for a little bit of safety and they look for safety in these uh, dividend yields. If that has that opportunity to pop out through that resistance here, you could potentially see that surge higher. So watch that one closely. You guys know that I've been keeping an eye on Oracle. Um, Oracle looking pretty good. Overall, if you notice in here, we've had a little bit of pullback. I was watching this, seeing if it could pop on through, but really hasn't sold off. And with the strength of tech, there is still that opportunity where we have a strong tech in here, that possibility that that could move through to the upside. So keep a close eye on that. There is opportunity here 
um, I would watch. Um, just have it on a list. Keep an eye on that. Because um, eh, it may turn back around and come back up. You might want to take a look at some of the healthcare stocks. UNH had a big move yesterday, breaking through uh, price resistance here to the upside, looking pretty good overall and if we can continue to pop on through now a big move like that once again i'm always going to suggest watch for a little resting pullback in here and then take your opportunity to the upside following that trend so watch that carefully on unh a couple of things to the other side that uh, you guys know that i have been mentioning you might want to keep an eye on um drip we saw some um, some selling, some pretty heavy selling in the oil sector yesterday. And I had mentioned drip as a round of bottom breakout pattern. I've been on this one for a while, as you can see here in that upside move. That's looking really, really good here, continuing to follow through to the upside. Now, don't chase this. It's kind of stretched out here. Wait for the next entry into that trade. If oil continues to sink, um, this can rally. And then, um, as you guys know, I've been on this RWM here for a while. Um, we're getting close to completing this round of bottom breakout in RWM. Keep an eye on this. This RWM is an inverse of IWM. And you can see the round of bottom breakout as we break above that 50, we hold, and then we shoot up here toward that 200. Now, normally we don't go in a straight line on those moves, but that's kind of what's happening here right now with um, the Russell struggling so much. So watch that pretty closely here. We may be pushing that 200 day moving average here before too long um, to the upside. Um, other places, guys, you might wanna look is, again, some of those defensive sector stocks like Kroger. Kroger, very, very strong here. Any rest or pullback sets up an opportunity. And I gotta give kudos to Microsoft. Um, Microsoft had an impressive day yesterday, pushing up really strongly, as you can see. So we have a very bullish pattern here in Microsoft, um, trying to uh, move on through to the upside. So watch that close rest or pull back out here to this trend and there may be some more upside opportunity there particularly if we can find some inspiration for those bulls today to actually hold support and begin that relief rally so with that everyone hey i want to wish you all a fantastic day and i want to wish you a safe and wonderful weekend as you guys know that delta variant really raised its ugly head out there spreading around the country causing all kinds of hate and discontent and issues out there um, that is starting to affect the market a little bit more so stay safe everyone be careful have a great weekend and we'll see you right back here bright and early monday morning i wish you all the best